Yes then guys, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. This is something a little bit different, something that I've seen a few other creators do, so I thought let me try it, let me see how it goes. As you can see, you're probably on your screen now, is the slideshow that is in front of me below. And as you can see from the title of the video and the total, like, title on your screen, it's how to get ahead of 99% of people in the next 6 to 12 months. These are things which I think you should be doing, these are things which I'm going to be trying my best and will be doing when I go to Thailand in January. And it's almost things that like... A lot of it you might look at it and you might think it's common sense, but trust me, there's a lot of people out there that don't do these things, that need to do these things. And I believe if you do these things, you will, be, you will get ahead. It's as simple as that. If you put in the work for at least six months, they say six months I've got solid work and good work can put you three or four years ahead of your competition. So no further ado, man, let's get straight into the video. So first thing then, as you can see, it says the societal trap. Now this is something which is quite important and it's almost the fundamentals of when you start growing up as a child or when you start growing up into um, society. Society. The first thing I've put here is growing up from birth and you'll probably notice like when you grow up it depends on we all get handed a different hand we all literally come into the world in a different family in a different kind of environment and we don't know what hand we're going to get down until we're in the in in the world literally as simple as that so everybody's going to be different but the, the trick is and the key is to as you get older and you start becoming aware of the societal norms I like to call the societal norms the things which society puts on us as as people as humans as we grow up are you going to school getting a job um, paying off your student loan going to university all these things and then retiring when you're 65 and not having the health to do anything that you want to do but you've worked your whole life so you've got all this money but you've got no way to enjoy it um, but yeah growing up from birth is the first one the next thing is the educational system now if you're like me, you hate university. I only agree that you should be going to university if it is something that you actually want to do. For example, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a lawyer, if it's something that like you know that you want to do 100%, it's not something that your parents are telling you to do. It's not something that, I don't know, your friends are doing, so you're just going to do it as well. University is a waste of time in 90% of the cases. You're just going to be in debt. Yes, you're going to be going out meeting new friends, which is all good and well, but you're all just going to be getting drunk. You're going to be wasting your time. And then before you know it, two, three years down the line, and you're in 27 grand's worth of debt, maybe more. Um, you don't actually have a job yet because you're not guaranteed to get a job after university. So, yeah, the university, in my opinion, especially in the UK, is a complete scam and almost, well, it is a waste of time. Um, next thing, you've got your friction in your early years. And now this ties into the university. This is like maybe in university, but also especially when you get out of university. It's that friction. It's that idea of like you'll see all your friends that might have relationships that might be going off and doing their professional jobs, which you know they're not really happy in, but it's just what their mum told them to do. And it's this friction that you've got to resist. So like you need to separate yourself. If you're like me and you don't want to work a traditional nine to five, you maybe want to escape the kind of so-called matrix and you want to start living life on your own terms, traveling when you want, earning money online and just having ultimate freedom to do with like with what you want your life to do. If that even makes sense friction in your early years is going to be crucial and you need to avoid this friction because you'll get it man you'll get your friends asking you to go out on weekends when you know you should be going to the gym you'll get your friends asking you to go out for food when you know that you should be eating clean which is what we'll talk about later on but yeah this friction in your only early years is part of the societal trap and it's things that you need to try and avoid the best way you can right then so learning the fundamentals here first thing i'm going to talk to you guys about is repetition um, there's no secrets, there's no magic formula. When you start creating content, when you start kind of doing whatever it is that you're planning to do with your life, the key is repetition. There's, there's no magic formula. People will say like, I don't know, how did you get 100,000 followers on TikTok or how did you blow up on Instagram? And what you don't see is, in the very rare case, yes, you might blow up off one video, for example, but what these people that have been doing it for years and years, it's all about repetition, which leads me on to the next point consistency consistency ties in with repetition the exact same thing the only difference is when you're consistent you do it when you, you don't want to do it repetitions all good and well doing the things that you don't want to do but the key the more important key is consistency because as you've seen what i've put here something is better than nothing going to the gym for 30 minutes is better than not going at all it's as simple as that i've had days where i don't want to go to the gym but and I might go to the gym, like I really don't want to go, but I'll end up going. And then even if I do 30 minutes, I always think it's better than not going at all. And it's as simple as that, guys. Stay consistent, um, look, literally showing up every day. And it's about self-respect as well. If you tell yourself in the morning, right, I'm going to get this done, that done, this done, and I'm going to go to the gym at the end of the day. If you don't do all them things and then almost don't go to the gym at the end of the day and you're sitting in bed at night time thinking, I've just wasted my day, you will lose respect for yourself because you'll start thinking, I'm saying I'm going to do these things, but I actually can't do it, so what's wrong with me? And once you've got respect for yourself, once you know what you actually want to do, 
and you show up every day and you stay consistent and you keep doing the same things, it's the, normally the boring things as well. It's the things which not a lot of people want to do. Um, if you want to get ahead, it's the boring fundamentals that is going to set you apart really because it's the things that aren't glamorized it's the things like waking up early in the morning to go for a run when nobody's actually watching or you don't post it on your instagram so all your followers can see it's the things that happen in the background which you don't see a lot of the time on social media especially let's get into the next part anyway prioritizing your health now this is a huge one um as you see first thing i've put here is your health equals your wealth without health we're nothing without your health you can't do the things that you want to do you can't start the business you want to start you can't travel to that country that you want to travel to you can't i don't know date the girl that you want to date your health is so important and it comes it should be coming at your number one priority especially in the next six to twelve months man keeping physically fit in my opinion the most important thing for success they say, people say, like, when you're in physical good shape, when you really kind of look after your body, other things will help and other things will come into your life and will almost give you a better idea and a better trajectory of your life. For example, when they say, when you walk into maybe a meeting room and you look like you're in shape, people will respect you more. People will look at you and be like, you know what? Because you can't buy a healthy body. You can't buy a fit body. Do you know what I mean? You have to work hard for it. You have to go to the gym every day. You have to do the boring things. And it's a sign of respect. If someone comes up to me and they're in really good shape, I know that they haven't paid for it. I know that they haven't kind of cheated. Yes, we've got steroids and things like that, but to get in a natural kind of physique, you've got to put in the work. So as soon as you get yourself in good shape, you'll notice that people will respect you more, you'll respect yourself more, and more positive things will start coming into your life. Um, the next thing we've got here, clean diet. You are what you eat. Eat shit food and you'll, be, and you'll probably feel shit and make shit progress. Eat good food and you'll feel good. Bring good energy in your life, which will lead to good success. And that's, that's the next thing in it, guys. Your clean diet. Don't be kind of binging out all the time. Like I have maybe one or two cheat meals or days a week. When I'm strict, I keep it to one meal. But sometimes it's, it's here and there. Like I'm not too strict. But if you want to get ahead in the next six months, 12 months, just look after your body, man. Look after your diet. And the thing is, what I notice is when you eat clean, when you eat kind of healthier food, you feel healthier you become more productive and you actually just enjoy enjoy life more because you're not feeling down like when i eat shit food i do feel shit and you probably feel like that as well you can probably relate to me when i say that which leads me on to the last bit on here bad habits cut out all your bad habits smoking drinking spending money you haven't got this goes this will probably go to a lot of you now if you're a young adult watching this or even if you're an old adult you've probably been through this it's this idea of like spending money on things that you don't actually need for example going out on a weekend when you know you don't need to go out but it's just going to be one of the it's just going to be fun with the lads and that can only get you so far if you want to get ahead in the next six to 12 months you need to stop doing these pointless activities um, it's as simple as that cut it all out what's what's six months in your life do you know what i mean what's six months of solid work throughout your whole life it's nothing Next thing now, we've got building a skill set. The best way to have location, time and financial freedom. In my opinion, you need to build a skill set. You need a skill set. People always say, oh, how do you kind of travel and earn money online? It's your skill set. It's what can you do to give someone else value? What, what do you have to give somebody else value? Because once you find out what it is you can do and once you learn your skills, you become invaluable. People want you because of the skills you've got, not because of like... I don't know what, what, who you are as a person. That does help, don't get me wrong, but if you've got the skill set, then people are going to want you because they want them type of skills for whatever job it is that, that's required. Now I've got on the top here, sales and marketing. Everything in life is sales. The quicker you learn sales, the quicker you'll find yourself having good, having people give you their money. That is very, very true. The quicker you kind of get in your head that everything is sales, the better. Because when you go to the shop, there's the way the, the, the item whatever you've bought on the shelf is marketed, it, there's a reason you've bought it, it's been placed there for a reason. In the packaging, it's the colourful packaging for a reason because it's attracting your eye. It's things like this, guys, that you don't actually see. Maybe you might see something on offer, but in your head you feel like you're getting a deal, but really the, the company's still making a profit, but you're just seeing it as a kind of offer in your own head. So sales is everywhere. Everywhere you look, it's sales. Whether you're selling a product, whether you're selling yourself as a service, I do photography, whether I'm pitching myself to a client trying to get work, it's as simple as that. You have to sell yourself, so learn sales and marketing. That's the key. Next thing here, we've obviously got digital skills. Now, I briefly just touched on this. Skill sets to enable you to earn money digitally, usually from your laptop or phone. So this is things such as, I don't know, um, starting making digital products online, eBooks, uh, free templates, communities, all these things which don't require your physical time, but they might require it for like an initial um, time for example i'm currently working on a travel guide and now that might provide um, that might take me some time to do now but it's something which once it's made it's just a product which anyone can buy and i won't have to work on it ever again do you know what i mean i could sell it in six months and the work i've done today 
he's paying off for that last six months. Um, yeah, so basically the travel guide is the work that I'm doing today. If I make it today and somebody buys it in six months, I've now profited off something that I've done today in six months time. Um, next, physical skills, skill sets to enable you to earn money with your equipment. Now, this is a bit different to digital. I prefer digital because it's more scalable and it doesn't require that much of your time. Physical skills, you're looking at like, I don't know, literally like photography or DJing, for example. DJing, you can DJ anywhere in the world, but obviously you have to be in a certain location. And there obviously limits and there's benefits to either or. Like, as a DJ, you might build a personal brand, so you might have an audience follow you, do you know what I mean? There's all these little things, but in my opinion, sales, marketing, digital skills and physical skills. Think of the skills, think of the things that you can relate to. Just some off like that I'm thinking about now, video editing, photography, videography, um, digital marketing, uh, online closing, sales closing, um, what's the other one, appointment setting. All these things that you can do, graphic design, all these things like which you might only just need your laptop, your phone and maybe a webcam if you wanna jump on a call with someone. These are things that are gonna set you free because in the next six to 12 months, if you've learned skills like this, you can go anywhere in the world and earn money. And that's the goal, that's what we all wanna do, don't we? We wanna be able to do whatever we want with our time and go to any location that we wanna to go to. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna to talk to you all about is disappearing, as we've got here, disappear, literally, but not literally. Cut out those who have no purpose in your life. Be brutally honest. Now, this is something that you've got to do. This is something which not a lot of people think about, but if you look at your friends around you, like, what do they, what do they provide for your life? Like it's as bad as it might sound, but if you've got a friend who only invites you out on a weekend to drink and stuff, then they're probably not gonna be very good for you in terms of like five, 10 years down the line because they're probably still gonna be doing the same things. If you've got friends who you've got genuine connections with and maybe you've known them years and they are a good friend, then obviously keep those friends, but just look at your circle, look at the people who are giving you bad habits and are portraying this on you, because ultimately they're not gonna get you any further in your life, only you can do this. And what you'll find is when you start putting yourself, and I've noticed this myself, when you put yourself in different environments with different people, you have better connections with, with those people and you probably, if they're doing healthy things, if they're going for a run every morning on Saturday, you're probably gonna start going for a run every morning on Saturday. You ain't gonna be going out on Friday night with your other friends. Do you know what I mean? So cut out all like the bad friends that you have and just be honest with yourself, man. Do they serve a purpose in your life? Uh, the next thing we've got here, stop attending pointless events and gathering. Um, you need to work. Now, this is very important. It ties into the first point, um, amazing. So cut out all the, the pointless gatherings, basically. You need to work in the next six to 12 months. This is your time to like do the most you can and be the most productive. Like I said earlier on, it's six months of your life, 12 months of your life. It's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, guys. And it's gonna put you ahead maybe three, four, five years, even more if you focus and you dial in. Um, the last thing that I just said here is think about the person you wanna become. Is your environment helping you? And as you can see, they all tie in together. So is the environment around you helping you? This could even be like your hometown. Is where you live right now helping you? Do you need to move to a different country? Do you need to move to a different city? Do you need to change jobs? Do you need to change, I don't know, where you play football? Are the people around you at football not helping your environment? Do you need to change football teams? Like, just change your environment. Think about where you are right now and think about the environments that you want to be in. Think about people who are living the life that you want to live. Think about people who you can relate to. If you don't like going out on a weekend, but it's all you really can do because your friends like going out, then look at people who aren't going out on the weekend because you've got your phone, you've got the internet, you can do anything now. Like, you can reach any group on any platform just off the click of a button on your iPhone. And we've probably all got iPhones if you're watching this or you've got some kind of phone anyway. Right then, so fast forward now, six to 12 months, it's time to look in the future. This is where I want you to actually think about what your life would look like. Um, you've put in the work the last six months, think about how your life will look now. Just think about it guys, like if you was to do everything you wanted to do now, maybe it might be learn a new language, it might be move to a different country, it might be start a side hustle, it might be stay consistent in the gym. Literally think about it now, how, how your life would look because that should give you some sense of like kind of hope, enjoyment, and make you feel like, you know what, like I actually want to do this. The next thing I've put here is think about how your life would look if you'd done nothing for the next six months. More than likely, you're gonna be in the same position you are now, but with just less time. This is probably the most important bullet point on this slide, on this page, to be fair, on this kind of video. Let me just reread that. Think about how your life would look if you'd done nothing for the next six months. You will be in the same position you are now, but with just less time. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was in a, like, I guess, an unhappy place where I wasn't happy with my job, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my future, I'd look at this and I'd think, if I didn't do anything now, what's the, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen, do you know what I mean? If I don't do anything now, I'm just gonna be in the same position, and it's as simple as that. It's literally as simple as that. If you don't do anything now, if you carry on doing the same things now, you will get the same results. And if you carry on doing different things now, you'll get different results. Um, what, I've, what I'd like to say to people is, 
if you don't change, nothing will change, if that makes sense. So if you don't change something, and we're all humans, we don't like change, we don't like feeling uncomfortable, it is what it is. Some of us like feeling uncomfortable. I like putting myself in like uncomfortable situations because I feel like I have to learn a lot and if I'm in the deep end, I'll pick up things a lot faster. But let's be honest, a lot of us don't like being uncomfortable. A lot of us don't like being kind of outside of our comfort zone. And this might be in your job, this might be... I don't know, you might be comfortable every weekend, you might go to the same um, takeaway shop, you might do this, you might eat the same food because that's just what you're used to. You might wake up in the morning and have a bacon and sausage sandwich when you know you should be having like cereal, wheat a all these things. And it's just these kind of comforts that our bodies got used to, but nothing's gonna change unless you change. So think about it what it is in your own life now. Write it down, man. Don't don't just watch this video, literally write it down and think about it in your life now. What is gonna change in your life for you to get the results that you need to get? Um, as you see, the last point, only you can make the change. No one is coming to save you. The sooner you realise this, the better. Now, if that doesn't say anything, then I don't know what does. Like, time is just going either way. Whatever you do in your life, time is going to go whether you like it or not. So don't waste your time. I'm very conscious of this now. Like, I'm 24 years old and I know how quick my 20s are going, for example. And I'm not here to waste time. Like, I know how quick it's going to go. So I'm making the most of it as I am living right now. So... I'll be doing these things, guys, in, in the next six to 12 months. Um, so if you are on board, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I'm just going to end it on this quote. They say, every person has two lives, and the second life starts when they realise they only have one. This quote literally stays in me all the time. They say, every person has two lives. The second life starts when they only realise they have one. That's mad, isn't it? Like, think about it, because especially to do with health as well, you'll find that a lot of people... When they get older, something bad might happen to them. I don't know, they might, they might have a heart attack or they might lose an arm or they might just do, something might just mad happen in their life. And it's only when your health's affected or only when something big happens in your life when you're like, crap, like, I've only actually got one life. I need to start looking after myself. So don't wait until this moment, do you know what I mean? Maybe this is your kind of second life now. Maybe you're thinking, yeah, do you know what, Cam's right. I've, I've been like slacking lately. I've been, I don't know, doing things that I shouldn't be doing. I need to get back on track. Just focus, guys. Get ahead of the game. Um, I think that's it. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments, man. This has been a quick video. Hopefully it's been a quick video anyway. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you like this style of content, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll do more of it. Different kind of video style for me. Um, this video, I think, will be going out before I go away, but as of January the 15th, I'll be going to Thailand to do a bit of traveling, making content out there. So expect some more vlog kind of style videos on this, some training videos, and I'll just be showing you like my day-to-day -day life, what I'm doing, etc. So yeah, man, it should be good. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel. That helps me out massively. Share it to a friend who maybe you want to get ahead with in 2024. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see where it takes us, man. But that's been me. Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you all on the next one, man. Peace.